Some things are unexpected, but never unconnected. Though they may go undetected for some great length of time, but eventually they finally see the proper light of day. They're always resurrected. They're, they're seen and then subjected to the antiseptic spectra of a strong and piercing ray. Now, should the need arise, should the Ides advise, before we get red eyes, don't toss in the towel. Don't bow to guttural growl, pained looks, and clamp down jowl. These won't change the simple fact. You got a low lottery number. And you're going to be called to serve. You're going to get to preserve our presence in Vietnam. Instead of finishing college, instead of obtaining the useful degree, we'll have you join the soldiers landing far away across the sea. You'll get to see the world. Well, from the battlefield perspective. See what we're fighting for, understand the grand directive to keep the dominoes standing. You see, they instituted the lottery draft. And I got a low lottery number. It was strictly chance that took me under. So I dropped out of college. Senior year went through the pre-induction physical, walked in lines and underwear, young men, undressed, mostly bare, a process declared mostly fair, yet most would try to find an exclusion. I did not have a solid reason. I was under no illusion, but nearly hidden amongst the filled-in answers the physical form had so many. I wrote bee stings in the allergy other location. And when I got to the final station, the point it turns out of my salvation, a khakied man making the final notation asked for my doctor's letter. For what? I asked. This bee sting allergy right here, he pointed. I don't have one. An allergy? No, a letter. Well then, you're done. It's clear. You're about to be approved. Wait, 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 wait. What can I do to stop this from going through? Submit a letter from your doctor. That's the only critical factor. Without it, you can't be refused. How long do I have? A week, 10 days, maybe two. Okay, I'll get it, I said and left. A great big quickening in my step after yanking back on my shirt and pants, I drove home with a definite sense. I still had a chance, yes. I still had a chance. I got the doctor's letter, delivered it in person. Two weeks later, got a draft board answer. You are deferred, hurrah, hurrah! My life starts over. Beasting exemption gives me a restart. Hurrah, hurrah! My life starts over. Back to school the next fall quarter. Back alive and kicking again. Kicking and grinning, dancing a jig. A new beginning, got a new gig. I'm alive, man, oh man, I'm alive. I thought I was a goner. Couldn't have been wrong or I'm alive. I'm alive. Kicking and, and grinning, got a new beginning. This beasting exemption, my beasting redemption. The humble honeybee is my greatest friend, might etch that on my tombstone, plant flowers on my grave to feed the humble honeybee. He changed my life and set me free. May he forever buzz and sing to those who need his potent sting. Some things are unexpected, but never unconnected. Though maybe undetected for some great length of time. <laughs>